Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy mole recipe using mole Doña Maria. By just adding a few extra ingredients you can make this taste just like if it was made from scratch. First we're going to boil our chicken with half an onion, an entire head of garlic, a handful of cilantro and about a teaspoon of salt. For this recipe I'm going to use about 4 to 5 pounds of chicken legs. You can also use chicken thighs or a combination of both. This next ingredient is optional. I'm also going to boil 10 chiles de árbol to give our mole that sweet, spicy flavor. Boil for 1-2 to two minutes and leave them soaking in the hot water until they're ready to use. Using a spoon, skim off the white stuff that floats to the top. And after 20-25 to 25 minutes, fish out the onion and the garlic and set it aside. Reserve 2-3 to three cups of the chicken broth to prepare the sauce. Remove the chicken and place it on a cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil. Lightly season both sides of the chicken with salt and pepper or any other seasonings of your choice. Cover the chicken with the rest of the aluminum foil so it doesn't dry and bake at 375 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. The onion and the garlic that we pulled out of the pot we're going to use it to prepare the sauce. But first we're going to squeeze out the garlic from the husk. We're also going to use one jar of mole Doña Maria. This is an 8.5 ounce jar. Very carefully remove the lid and transfer all the contents into the blender. The easiest way to remove the contents is by taking a butter knife and running it around the edges. This is going to loosen up the contents and it's going to fall right into the blender. Add the 2 cups of the chicken broth, the onion and the garlic that we pulled out of the pot, the chiles de arbol, an entire disc of your preferred Mexican chocolate, 1 stick of cinnamon, 5 to 6 whole cloves, and a few animal crackers, galletas maria, or a toasted piece of bread. A fourth of a cup of your favorite peanut butter, and a tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Blend for two to three minutes or until everything is well combined and you have a nice smooth texture like this. In a medium saucepan, heat up a small amount of olive oil, then add in the sauce from the blender. You're gonna have a lot of the mole residue stuck to the side of the blender. In order for that not to go to waste, we're gonna add two cups of the chicken broth to the blender, Cover and give it a good shake to loosen up the residue. Then add it to the stock pot with the rest of the mole. Give it a light stir and bring to a simmer over low medium heat. Once it reaches a light simmer, continue cooking for an additional 5-7 to seven minutes with frequent movement. Remove it from the burner and cover while we prepare a super easy rice recipe to go with our mole. We're going to use the remainder of the chicken broth to prepare the rice. Add 4 cups of the broth to a large stock pot and season with chicken bouillon, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of black pepper. Bring to a simmer, then add 2 cups of rinsed white rice. You can also add frozen vegetables. I chose to add 1 cup of frozen peas. Turn down the burner to low-medium heat, cover, and cook for 12 to 15 minutes. Serve this delicious mole with any of your favorite rice recipes. Once the mole cools down, it does tend to thicken up a bit. So make sure to reserve some of the chicken broth to add to the mole just in case it gets a little bit too thick. And if you do happen to have a lot of leftover mole, use it to prepare enmoladas. You can find the recipe on the left corner of this video. Pour it over your chicken and top it off with sesame seeds. And enjoy! Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.